everybody. Okay, let's find the centroid of this shape. So there's a few approaches we can take because it looks like the composite of three squares and a triangle. And that's one way to do it. Or you can say it looks like one rectangle and then a square and then a triangle. Let's try this way for now. So this is just the area weighted mean position, right? So in the x direction, for this rectangle, the centroid is here. So the x component of that is zero. I'll, I'll just write the values, zero. Times the area of that rectangle, which kind of, who cares, right? Because that's zero, but like this. Okay, now the square, this one, the x component of the centroid is three. Everything is inches, so three times that area, 36, plus the centroid of the triangle, which is here. And notice that it's like one third of the way, right? This is two thirds. So here to here would be actually negative two because it's two inches to the left of the y-axis times the area, so one half base times height. Okay, then divide by the total area. So the rectangle, the square, and this triangle. Okay, so that would be in the x direction. And then for y, For the rectangle, notice that it's here, three inches below the x-axis, so negative three, times the area of that rectangle, and then now the square, so the y component right here, that's three, times that area, and then for the triangle, here, right, so here to here is two inches above the x-axis, so two times that area, divided by the total. Okay, so that's one way to do it. How about we consider this rectangle, this square, and then this triangle. So in that case, Let's go for the rectangle first. So the x component will be three inches this way times the area of this rectangle plus, now for the square, it's here, which is three inches to the left of the y-axis. So that would be negative three times the area of this square, 36. And then now for the triangle here, so that's two inches to the left of the y-axis, so negative two times that area divided by the total area. Okay, how about y? So for the rectangle, the y component is zero, I'll we'll just write zero. For the square here, three inches below the x-axis, so negative three times this area. And then the y component of the triangle, two inches above the x-axis times that area. Okay, so two different ways. You should get the same answer either way. Let's try one more. Another way is, it looks like one big square like this with a triangular cutout. So that's another way to do it. So let's try that. So in the x direction, for the square, the centroid is in the middle. So zero times the area of the square. So Okay, and then 
plus the centroid of the triangular cutout is here. So if I draw the triangle here, where this is one third and this is two thirds, this is one third, this is two thirds. Okay, so how far is this negative four? Right, it's four inches to the left of the y-axis times the area of this triangle, which is negative because it's a cutout, negative 18, divided by the total area, so the square plus the triangle, which is again a cutout, so it's negative. Okay, now let's try in the y direction. So for the square, it's right here in the middle, so zero times that area, plus for the triangle, it's here, right? So that's two thirds of the way up. So that's positive four times the area of this cutout, which is negative, divided by the area. Okay, so three different ways. You should get the, the same answer in all three ways. So I hope that was helpful. Keep on studying. I'll see you on the next video.